Welcome to the fourth refactoring, where we'll bring related logic together into a utility method. In this video, we're going to use the change signature refactoring to move the code which determines the parcel data file name down into the isValidParcelFileName method. This refactoring will let us do several things. These are add, remove and reorder parameters, assign default values to the parameters, change parameter names and types, change the method name and its return type, and finally, propagate new parameters through the call method hierarchy. Let's begin by using the extract method refactoring to refactor parcel data file name to a new method called get parcel data file name. I'll set parcel IDs type to a string, and then I'll uncheck generate PHP doc and complete the refactor. Next, we need to do a bit of refactoring to is valid parcel file name. This is because we're going to change it to a method that checks if a valid parcel file is available. To do that, I'll move the call to get parcel data file name in a moment down into is valid parcel file name and pass in a parcel ID instead of a parcel file name. That way, the method can be more compact. To do all this, I'll first navigate to is valid parcel file name and then from there start a change signature refactoring. This opens a refactoring dialog quite similar to the other ones which we've seen so far, where we can specify the method visibility, name, return type and parameters and their types. Now the only thing I'm going to change is parcel data file name to parcel ID and then I'll complete the refactor. Next we need to do a bit of manual work as the refactor changed the usages of the parameter within the method. So we need to revert some references to parcel ID to parcel data file name. To do that, I'm just going to do a straightforward search and replace, changing parcel ID to parcel data file name. With that done, then I'm going to instantiate parcel data file name as a local variable by calling the get parcel data file name method. Next, back up in the handle method, I'll replace parcel data file name in the call to is valid parcel file name with parcel ID. With that done, there's one more thing that I think we should do, which is to rename is valid parcel file name. That name doesn't quite represent what the method does any longer. I think has valid parcel file would work better. So I'll quickly use the rename refactoring to change it. Now, perhaps I'm being a bit pedantic here, but I think this name's much more intuitive. It also provides another opportunity to see multiple references change simultaneously. With that done, we'll refactor the call to JSON decode in the if block to a new method as, again, the handle method shouldn't know the specifics of where the data is coming from. To do that, I'll use the familiar extract method refactoring, creating a new method called get parcel data. I'll leave all the options as they are, except for unchecking generate PHP doc and complete the refactor. With those changes completed in the handle method, parcel data file name is used only once. So now, instead of passing parcel data file name to the call to get parcel data, let's pass the result of calling get parcel data file name instead. Now that we've completed the refactorings in this video, let's quickly recap what we've done. We've streamlined the handle method so that it knows less about lower layers of functionality. We've simplified the code around determining the parcel data file's name and checking if it's valid by extracting the calling code into a new method called get parcel data file name. We've refactored is valid parcel file name so that it takes a parcel ID instead of a parcel file name before renaming it to has valid parcel file. And finally, we extracted the code that retrieves the file data into a new method called get parcel data. In the next video, we're going to address the multiple return statements by refactoring them to a new method. I'll see you then.